morning, it's the weekend. Now, whether or not it's gonna be a good day or a bad day, depends on the result. I am currently on my way to SeaWorld to get my hair cut. And <laughs> we remember what happened last time I got my hair cut. So let's see if he uh, does a better job today. I decided I'm gonna go back to him at least one more time. I may have a solution, which will be, I'll let him cut my hair. He'll give me like a little kind of, I guess, area to kind of follow around. And then after that, I can, oh, uh, and then after that, I can, I guess, kind of do my own work. So it's like tracing, you know, when you have to trace uh, to draw a picture or something like that. You have the outline and all the lines to follow. I'll have that and then I'll clean up the mess that he'll probably leave behind. Now, it would be, it would be great to obviously show you the, the haircut itself, but I don't think I'll do that for multiple reasons. One reason being, if he does a bad job, I don't really think it's good advertising for him. And not that that's my problem, but I'm also not trying to bash him as well, you know. <laughs> I've already said that his haircut's not that good. I don't need to put his face there or put the, uh, the salon that I'm going to. It's not even the barbershop, it's a salon. Um, but yeah, get my haircut. Hopefully it's a decent job. And then from there, I'll just do the rest. And hopefully after that, we can have a good weekend. Because if this haircut goes wrong, like completely wrong and I can't fix it, this whole weekend is ruined. Yeah, for the haircut, I even brought my own comb. Now that may sound ridiculous, because why would you bring a comb to a salon? Well, I don't think there's many uh, customers like me that go there, so I just want to make sure that there's something that can properly handle my hair. And I know that today will be a battle of attrition um, because they obviously have their ways of uh, doing a fade, which don't match up to what I'm normally, or what I would normally expect. Um, it's like he does the thing where normally he would just like, hold on, he would kind of like flatten my hair and then he would just trim the hairs that come through rather than actually changing the level of the blade. So what happens is when I go home and I'll comb my hair out, I'll have hair that's like all completely different lengths because a lot of the hair was just pat down and it wasn't actually cut. Okay, so I'm here now. Hold on. Uh, wish me luck. Okay. Haircut's done. Um, to be honest, it's better than I thought he was going to do today. You know, after what he did to me last time, this is an improvement. So I can accept this. Um, I decided, you know what, let me go for really short hair. Because I feel like with shorter hair, it's harder to mess up. If I have longer hair, then there's more hair to mess up with. So uh, a short hairstyle felt like it was the play this time. And yeah, I think I made the right choice. Uh, you know, let me just break down, I guess, a little bit into uh, haircuts. My, my thoughts on the haircuts and all that stuff, I don't know. I don't really know. Let me just talk. Let me just talk to you for a sec. So, back when I was in the UK, especially when I was younger, like, you know, getting a haircut for me was kind of like, eh, I can't be bothered. It takes ages. You know, I just want to go out and play or chill or whatever. I didn't really care too much. But I can always appreciate what I look like after the haircut, you know? You come out, you feel fresh. And my favorite part of any haircut, see, let me see if people can relate to this. You know when he's done the majority of your hair and now it's time for the lineup. So he comes with his spray bottle and he's like tss, 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 and he sprays your head. So you've got all the water droplets just accumulating on your forehead. And then he brings out the, I don't even know what you call it. But you know, this, when I'm doing this, you know what it is. You know, he kind of, and he lines you up and you can, you can hear the hair follicles. You can hear the individual hairs being, being cut off your head and you just feel clean, you feel clean. I don't really get to enjoy that feeling anymore. So I feel like once, uh, once I came to China and started getting my hair cut, I really understood how important haircuts are, how much I appreciated them and how much I took them for granted. You know, never again. Um, I, I fear that I may never get that feeling again, you know, that, that feeling of being a 10 out of 10, you know. I mean, hey, don't get me wrong, you know, my face can do some magic and stuff, but the hair is always going to hold me back, just, just a little bit, a little bit.
I did forget to mention though, with the haircut, there's one thing that I'm really proud of. You know, during my time of looking <laughs> terrible, looking raggedy because my hair was all over the place, something great did happen. Now, you can see I kind of have a baby face. I don't really have a lot of facial hair. You know, I've got my beard here and we're going to call this a beard, by the way. This is a beard. I saw one comment in one of my other videos talking about a neck beard. Um, I felt to delete the comment, uh, not because like I hate the comment. I just don't need my group chat to have any more fuel, you know, to, to, to cuss me with because a neck beard is something that I regularly hear from them. So I don't, I don't need to hear it from everyone else as well. Okay, we're going to just accept that this is a full beard and actually after cutting it off completely and it growing back, I've got a pretty solid connection. This is like 5G connection right now. Like there used to be like patches and it wasn't, it wasn't connecting properly, you know, there was a signal interference. But now, now, yes, sir. We have a bit more of a connection, it's more stable. So I'm proud of that. Um, so that, that period of time of looking raggedy and shaggy hey it came through you know now i've got a full connection hey we're on we're on 5g now 5g yeah. all right so i'm an idiot but i managed to remember just before i got into the metro i was going down the stairs and i don't know if you lot were paying attention but Remember that you saw some straps on me earlier on? I had straps? Yeah, it's because I had a bag. And guess what? I forgot the bag on the chair. Uh, wow. So that whole time after I had my first little talk, I've been walking around without my bag. Fortunately, yeah, <laughs> my bag was still there. I, had, I wasn't even that worried, to be honest, thinking that my bag was gonna get taken. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just nice to see. So, e. thank you for not stealing my stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, 请来客牛肉大炒面，还有那个羊肉手抓。羊肉手抓今天没有。哦，今天没有。对，有那个四川羊肉腿。啊，那也是羊肉。嗯，那这个也可以。一个四川羊肉，一个牛肉大炒面。对，谢谢。啊，你好，你可以加一个肉夹馍吗？那一个肉夹馍吗？嗯，对，一共多少钱？一共六十八。六十八，好。收钱包到账，六十八元。All right, so I've got three things coming. Oh, can I get some light, please? Hello, me. All right, but what are three things? So one is the beef, beef noodles, but like the hand cut noodles. Um, the stir fried lamb. Uh, lamb with cumin and then also uh, raw jam oh Laban I said a, <laughs> I said a cup I meant a bottle he, he got what I meant This is a dal shao mian. Yes. Which one? Yes, this one. I have to use that one. Oh, yes. Oh, I don't know. Okay, this one can be. Yes, this one can be. Yes. Welcome to the dal shao mian and the beef roll. You're so dumb! So, I was supposed to have the one that doesn't have soup. It was supposed to just be like the fried noodles. Um, but yeah, he gave me one with soup. I don't mind, I'll eat it, because um, it's gonna taste good anyway. Um, and then I'll come back another time and I'll try the other one then. But yeah, I mean, yeah, this is good, good, good. Nice. Mm. Soup has flavor. It's so weird, you look at the color and it looks so bland because it's pretty clear but there's so much flavor, it's very, very beautiful. And you can see these are the, ow, 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 ow. These are the 
hand cut noodles. Oh, the hand cut noodles. Nice. Hey, hot, hot, hot. So it's a uh, beef noodles. Beef is quite tough, kind of chewy, but so the broth itself is. It's so weird. It's, it's light, but full of flavor. It's light and flavorful. Now, there is no spice, but there is actually chili on the table, so I am gonna have some chili. Oh, yeah. Cause I'm about that life, you know. Ah ha 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 here is the stir fried lamb with cumin. Ooh. Ooh. Is that crispy? Kind of crispy. Also chewy at the same time. So the edges are quite crispy. The meat, the main bulk of the meat is quite chewy. Savory. You can really taste the cumin. I like cumin. So this is actually a very good, very good choice. Has a little bit of spice, like honestly I didn't even really notice that it was spicy until I guess a good few mouthfuls. It's not that it's not that spicy at all. My go jam one. So, looking again, or jam more. Onions, peppers, beef. I think it's just the onions, peppers, and beef. Apparently, a proper raw jam is just supposed to be meat. So, I think people say that this isn't the most authentic. <laughs> now I go home to rest. So, I will see you all next time. You look good.